Hey everybody, Ryan O'Heller and Jaguars beat writer with the Florida Times Union here inside Everbank Field on a Wednesday. Jaguars host the Colts Sunday at 1 o'clock. And Thursday's Times Union, Hayes Carlion is going to write about this linebacker core. They got some issues. They're twofold. One, they couldn't tackle very well against Tennessee last week, but the bigger issue is injuries. Paul Pazlesny, broken right hand, unlikely to play, I think, on Sunday. He's your quarterback on defense. He gives everybody the play call. That's now going to be Jordan Tripp. Who, you may ask, a lot of people were asking that question the other day. He hadn't played a lot of defense since signing with the team a couple months ago. He starts at middle linebacker. Thurston Armbrister at, at strong side. He was benched at halftime Sunday. Now he gets another chance to start. And then Talvin Smith and his 122 tackles. One name to watch out, Dan Scuda. He's missed three out of the last four games with a groin injury. He said on Wednesday he intends to play. He went up to Minneapolis earlier this week to get treatment from the same doctor that Cecil Shorts, the former receiver, visited with a couple years ago. So get Scooter back, that'll bring some experience, some run stopping ability. So one thing to watch if I'm the Colts offense, I tack these linebackers. I make sure that all three of them are on the field at all times, base personnel, and see if you can run right at them and get some things done in the run game. So Hayes Carlion talks about the Jaguar linebacker situation at Thursday's Times Union and on Jacksonville.com. I'm Ryan O'Halloran for Jacksonville.com.